these were the emotions that were going through my head when my dad actually felt depressed and took his own life. I was thinking to myself, was my dad actually ever happy? So how do you deal with someone who's depressed? How do you deal with a loved one, a close friend, who's suffering with depression or suffering with any mental health struggle? I actually wrote an article on this before and I wanted to talk about it in more detail in this video. But if you wanna read the article, you can click the link below and you can go ahead and read the article. Now, when it comes to dealing with someone who's suffering with depression or any form of mental illness, for me, when my dad hit that depression, it was very quick. He went from being okay, being my dad, to all of a sudden having this depression, crying for the very first time, going to the doctor's game, putting antidepressants, and then attempting to take his own life for the first time. Very, very quick. And he obviously survived that accident and came home, was then feeling depressed again, was in and out of a mental health unit, stayed in a mental health unit for a good month, came out with medication, came out feeling better, uh, but there was still, you know, my dad was still lost. I still lost a huge part of my dad. And I always say I lost my dad that first time he cried to me. So it was a six month period from him feeling depressed, breaking down to actually taking his own life. And honestly, that six months was so draining. It was one of the hardest experiences that I've ever gone through. Um, and I really can't imagine you having to maybe go through that for a longer period of time. And dealing with someone depressed, dealing with someone that you love, it could be a brother, it could be a husband, a boyfriend, a father, whatever it is, it's gonna put a lot of strain on that relationship. It's gonna put a lot of strain on your emotions and how you feel. And this is what I wanted to write this article for. Um, so I wanted to say that, you know, how many more events can you miss because they don't feel up to it? How many more mornings can you spend with them struggling to get out of bed? How many more times can you sit and listen to them explain how bad they feel? Because all of those situations are gonna bring you down. They're going to drain you mentally. And it's hard because you wanna support them, you love them, you want to give them the best that you can, but it's like you're almost talking to a brick wall. Um, you know, this is someone who at first gave you everything that you could possibly imagine. It's someone who made you happy. And now all of a sudden, you're finding it hard to get them out of this struggle, to get them out of this depression, away from this mental illness. Um, and you start questioning, has this relationship been a lie? Were they ever the person who once knew they were? Or were they always so unhappy and miserable? And these were the emotions that were going through my head when my dad actually felt depressed and took his own life. I was thinking to myself, was my dad actually ever happy? like bringing me and my brother up as children. Because was he that upset that he just lived a life throughout his whole life and then he broke? Um, and that thought alone really hurt me. It really hit hard. You know, what all those good memories just lies. And then you start questioning how long do you stick by them? How long do you support them through their depression? How do you make yourself feel good again? Because this is draining you personally. Do you leave the relationship? Do you say to your dad, your mum, whoever it is, that this isn't working for you and you walk away? It's such a tough battle. And the main point is that I thought that I failed. So I didn't see any warning signs. I felt like I could have done more once my dad did fall into depression, once my dad did take, did take his own life. I felt like I'd failed him because I believed that I should have done more to stop him from doing what he did. Um, there was one point, it was a day before he actually took his life, he just came out of the mental health unit, they said that he was okay. I went around to see him and he wasn't. I could just sense that he wasn't okay, but I was at that point so drained, he was in and out, in and out, in and out, that I just said, okay, I'll see you tomorrow, Dad. And then I never saw him again. And that was my biggest emotion that I had to overcome because I felt so guilty for that moment. 
Um, like, why did I take him back to the mental health unit that night? And honestly, like I say, reflecting on it in this article, there's nothing that I could do. I tried as much as I possibly could for that period of time. Honestly, looking back, I tried so much and so did my family that we just couldn't do what, um, you know, we couldn't do as, we couldn't save him. And I don't feel like we ever would have saved him. Um, so the point that I was trying to make is understand it because telling my dad that I was there for him and telling him how to overcome his depression, how to overcome his mental illness was never going to help. I had to support him. So that's the first thing that I can honestly say to you is support them. Sometimes they're not looking for solutions all the time and you'll just naturally try and say, why don't you go and exercise? Why don't you come out? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? They don't want those solutions. They just want you to understand their depression. They want you to understand their mental illness and they want you to support them. They want you to sympathize with them. So that's the first step. Um, understand that depression is an illness. Understand that depression is something that's very hard for them to control. Understand that their depression, their mental illness, isn't actually their choice. It's just something that they're having to go for, through. Um, get to know their illness. The second thing is disconnect as well. The way that you can support them is support you. Because if you disconnect and focus on you, it's going to allow you to care for them better. And the hard thing with that is we always feel so selfish when we do that. And I did a video on it, how can we care for others when we can't care for ourselves? And it's about once you're caring for someone, once you're trying to help them through depression, help them through mental illness, you have to honestly care for yourself. You have to look after yourself because that's one of the most important things that you can do. So it's gonna drain you, it's gonna make you emotionally drained. So you need to make sure that you invest time doing what you love to do, whether that's going and seeing your friends, whether that's I'm going to the gym, whether that's reading books that you want to read, whether that's watching TV that you want to read, don't feel selfish. Spend time on you because that's going to help you help them. Also, let go of guilt and resentment as well. This follows on nicely from point two. If you are away from them and they make you feel guilty in a way, you have to let go of that guilt. You have to remember that you can't control their depression. You can't control the way that they feel. You can't control the actions that they um, are doing. You can only control the way that you perceive those actions. So don't feel guilty, remove all guilt, let go of anything that's happened in the past. Um, when you're trying to support someone who's depressed, we sometimes resent them as well. We blame them for not being able to deal with their illness. We blame them for the things that we've missed out on in the past because they didn't feel up to it. That resentment needs to be dropped. You need to let go of anything that's happened in the past. Um, and then support them, not their depression. Love should always come first in a situation like this. There is no word no thing or no act that will ever resolve someone's depression. But you have to support them through love uh, rather than you trying to cure their depression. Showing them that there's hope, showing them that they still have meaning, showing them that they still have love around them because hope stems from love. And uh, just showing them that you're there is going to hopefully sway them to take more action themselves and to actually start coming out of their illness and start dealing with their depression. So it's all about support. And then last but not least, don't worry about judgment. You know, once we have a depressed partner, once we have a depressed loved one, we're always so afraid of judgment. People judging us because we're not going to these events because maybe your partner is off at a dinner that you're going out with with friends. Um, you might fear judgment that people are judging you because you can't make them happy, that you can't get them out of this mental illness. When my dad died, when my dad took his own life, I was so fearful of judgment because if I told someone that my dad took his own life, one, I felt like that they would judge him. They would say, you know, was he crazy? Was he mental? Um, and it would take away everything that my dad was because he was so much more than that. But two, they would also judge me. They would also judge my mum, they would judge my brother, they would judge my nan and granddad, my family, because they would think to themselves, you couldn't do enough to support that person that they had to make that decision. So it really is all about don't worry about judgment. Mental health shouldn't have this stigma around it. There shouldn't be such judgment. And hopefully this video and other videos I do is helping that. So I really hope that this video helps. I'll link up to the article in the description below. Um, there's always hope. It's gonna be a very tough situation that you're in right now. It's gonna be very draining. But it's all about consistency. It's all about utilizing those steps, focusing in on yourself, supporting them through the depression, not trying to cure them through the depression. Start coming at them from love, you know, just giving them as much love, support as you possibly can. It's gonna be very important. So if this video helped in any way, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Share this video with someone if you feel like it will help them as well. And I'll see you all in a video very, very soon.